Now they'll be like, you're like my sister. That's, That's the truth the about men. You never well. see some. That being said, if you are broke and I choose to deal with you, I will belittle you. Because out here who think y'all doing well you know for yourself, and that's the problem. You know the pro <laughs> but the moment all that glamour run out, that feel ain't there, that culture ain't there. And I'm like, no. Um, so I didn't know. Oh and, uh, yeah, what? It used to be a time that Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor? Hit the notifications button right now and share this video if you really like content like this. Okay, guys, today I got a few videos for you. The first video that we have is Andrew Tate will be breaking down to a female exactly what does it mean when a guy treats you like a little sister and you guys have a sister brother relationship. The next video is going to be a woman that says, I cannot be with a guy who makes less than me and what I'm going to treat you like. And this is one that I want you guys to really pay attention to because this is exactly how women act when you make less money, when you make less money than them. Then we have a video where a lady is saying, I can go to any race of man and date, but I don't think that she is quite confident as she says she is. And then we have the story of the hour, which is going to be the IG model who catches the sauce. And we would be breaking down the video from Gossip Girl. She is a YouTuber on YouTube who does a lot of gossip videos. We will be reacting to one of her videos. But the first video today we're going to be reacting to is Andrew Tate. This is one of my guys. This is one of them dudes. He's on the rise now, but he has been doing his thing in social media for a while now. But he's just starting to take wind and he's really starting to blow. But he also has a lot of truth to everything that he says. Let's get to it. Set and say things. What if I'm also like a sister? What if they have a wife? What if they have a girlfriend? No man's talking to you because he wants you to be a sister. But I do know men who actually value my presence and what I bring to the team. You know, it's actually interesting. When I have this discussion, a lot of girls get upset because they think, well, what about my personality? They don't value me for anything outside of What about my personality, etc. I'm just telling you, my dear, if you're 400 pounds, they wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> so you can talk all the <laughs> You can talk all the you want that may be but that's true. the reality they're talking to you because of how you look they got friend zone now they're like you're like my sister that's, that's the truth the about men you never well. see some who's fat and ugly with a bunch of men trying to be her brother it's garbage what if and he's absolutely right a lot of these girls actually think that guys like them for who they are because a lot of guys are willing to sit up and listen to them and not talk about getting in the sheets all the time especially a lot of patient guys with money but when these guys really like a woman after they've been friend zoned and they know that there's probably not a chance that they're going to get with the girl, they're going to actually sit back and listen to her. But in the back of their mind, they're always thinking, maybe I, one day I'll get my chance. He's always hoping for it. That's the only way that guys are going to treat women like sisters is when that's the girl that they like, but they actually cannot get. But women take this stuff the wrong way. Women need to understand you do not have any male friends at all. Understand that. He's just a guy that's hoping one day he comes out the friend zone and you and him can actually be in a relationship. That's real talk. Now, the next video is going to be a girl that says that she cannot date a man that dates less than her. Let's hear what she says. Apt to ghost you. If you're broke when I meet you, you don't stand a chance. Because. What's broke to you? What is defined, bro? You make less than double what I make. Less than double. Yes. Okay. It's not a it's not a shit ton. Okay. But you should be making double what I make. That being said, it's because I've held broke men down. I've been played by broke men. Okay. And personally, it doesn't pay off. So I won't do it again. And well, that's her fault. What she has to understand is we always mention. Girls always skip over the good guy and go directly to the bad to the bad guy and they use what the bad guy has done to them to take it out on the good guy. So we already know woman's nature is going to naturally, naturally skip the good guy, go to the bad guy, then turn around and say guys are bad and then start having all of these standards. They wouldn't have all these standards if they would just go to the good guy the first time around. And it is what it is. 
it's not hard to find someone who makes twice what I make. I personally attract people who make like a whole spectrum. That being said, if you are broke and I choose to deal with you, I will belittle you. <laughs> it is what it is. And I reserve the right to do that. And also, if you want to cheat, cheat at your own risk, I'm apt to ghost you. And it is what it is because men who make more money than me, they treat me with that same power dynamic. She's absolutely right. And that's what I wanted you guys to pay attention to, to in this. Every woman that you may deem is bad, she's emulating a man that has done the same thing. That's where women get their nature from whenever they start to become masculine. They start studying men that they admire or guys that have hurt them before and they start to emulate men. Majority of what women are doing is something that a man has did to a woman at some point of her life. She becomes the guy that hurts her. All right, now we're going to get to the next video, and it's going to be a girl that says she can go outside of her race and date whoever. Let's see. Get to <laughs> but it. the moment. Y'all be thinking y'all the only option. Baby, I can go date an Indian, a Hispanic, mm -hmm. a white man. Mm -hmm. Y'all not the only mm -hmm. options out here who think y'all doing well you know for yourself, and that's the problem. You know problem? Y'all done put yourselves on a pedestal you know when it comes to black women. Y'all need to bring it on down because have we have we have gotten to start dating outside our race. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's true. That's true. And finding a white man, you're not you're not you know, you know what see one thing that black women need to understand is you're right. You can get these guys because a lot of guys want to sleep with you. You have a very strong sex appeal. And I've said that before, that black women have the strongest sex appeal out of all women. So, yes, you can go get these guys. But one thing about these guys, they're not going to take you home. That's what you have to understand. You may be able to get a white guy, but actually taking him home to fit in his family, he's going to be scared of that. So he's going to back off. And let's not even talk about the Italians. They're not taking you home. The Hindus are not taking you home. The Arabs are not taking you home. The Chinese is definitely not taking you home. But guess what? All of them want to sleep with you because you have a stronger pill. You cannot confuse sleeping with you with actually being with you and loving you for the long run. That's what black women don't understand. You can't use sex appeal as actual gratification that a man wants you as a wife and sees you as a queen when they really see you as just a sex object. You know why y'all do that? Y'all do that and go, and, and go make it look pretty, right? And we having a time of our you, lives. You, you is, you is, you is. But the moment all that glamour run out, that feel ain't there, that culture ain't there, that hug ain't there, that hawking figure of a black man ain't there. He's right. I've said this before, and I've said, and I'm and I'm gonna say it again. In my twenties, I dealt with a lot of white women. I will put it out there. Yes, I did. But as I got older, I had to deal with more minority women because I had to deal with women that I can actually relate to. See, you can relate to someone sexually. But actually relating to them culturally, that's going to be the hard part. So you know what y'all do? Please, Y'all stay with this with this good. He may be a good man, but he ain't giving you that feel. Again. My family don't look at him and say, he don't look right in pictures with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to leave. And that's what y'all do. Y'all be. And she's right. You are going to leave. She's going to experience it for a little bit. See if the grass is green on the other side. Once the sex dies out. Pretty much all of these type of relationships will die out. And the reason why they die out so fast is because the cultures just don't mix. All right. That's why black men complain so much about black women. It's because you're not cultured inside of a culture. You're too destructive to too destructive to actually keep the culture going. All right. Now we're going to get to the video with by Gossip Girl. And this is a girl that caught the sauce and she's linked to Chris Brown and other celebrities. And we're going to go over her story, but you guys can go over to Gossip Girl's channel. Watch the full video. The video that I have right now will be playing off of World Star. Let's get to it. The Chris Brown and Nick Cannon have recently came out. She's 25 named Gina. Um, she has the hot sauce and she's telling her story. Um, she didn't realize she was infected with the sauce 
and it was too late. She said when she found out, her body started wasting and it turned to something horrible. And she cannot even walk, okay? And she's telling her story. Listen to this, y'all. This is something else. Finally, stand. I don't know how long we've been here, but yeah, I've got here probably about 20 minutes before you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ready? I don't care what nobody say, man. That's terrible. To go from being a pretty girl to all the way down to skin and bones like that. People, you got to start thinking about the future. What your future is going to be like. You can't live every single night like you just have one night. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. One, two... Three. Push through those legs. Come on. Push, 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 push. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Push through those legs. Come on, do it. Push those legs. Anyway. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's terrible shape to be in. Terrible shape. I didn't know I had. Um, I just got sick one day, started fainting, fevers. Then I got really weak and I was going to the doctors and no one knew what was wrong. Um, they just kept assuming cancer, uh, cervical cancer, lesions. And then I had some doctors saying, no, you're perfectly fine. Like there's nothing wrong with you. Um, but eventually uh, a doctor was like, did you know you have AIDS? And I'm like, no, because I wasn't getting checked like I should have as much as I was supposed to. Um, so I didn't know. And I lost a lot of weight because I was in the hospital. I don't know what happened. And from losing all that weight, I lost mobility in my legs. So I can't walk or stand right now. But it All right, more of the story here. You guys could go over to World Star or Gossip Girls channel and watch the whole thing. The moral of the story here is a lot of women are not seeing the results that they're making today is going to affect them later down the road because it feels good. Everything feels good when you're destroying yourself. It's dealing with the aftermath. I don't know what's going to happen with this girl, but a lot of girls really need to pay attention to what they're out here doing. And a lot of guys need to pay attention to the girls that they're dealing with as well. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my videos. To both of my channels, hasta la vista.